All right, since we're all ready, let's see. So class. Yes. All right. So for everyone that's actually came here to learn and not just to play with their hair, they have their practice out in front of them. What do you mean I didn't give you one? You got this a couple days ago. Yes, you had one. Yes. So you're saying you sat there for the last three days and did nothing? Anyway. All right, so right here. So the review we're gonna go through and on your calculator, make sure that your calculator is in what mode? Degree, degree mode. Degree mode, degree mode. Okay, that's important. So I will update that here in a moment for you um, when I go to mine. Can we use those ourselves? Okay, those ones you can, but I don't trust you because they're super smart. Like, you probably don't know how to use those. Yeah, they're not the same. Okay, anyway, so those are different. So anyway, all right, so let's go through this. And it says, uh, given the following ratio, what is the length of AC? So let's see. So from AC, I'm gonna look at it from A. Okay, so A is gonna be my reference. Okay, so it tells me, and it gives me some values here. Okay, so look very carefully where it says A, from A, from A, from A. All of them are using A as a reference. Mm -hmm. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So in this, you would be 12 over and 13. Cosine, so this is 5, 13, then 12, 5. There we go. So all my values are there. So I'm going to use, since I have to try and find AC, which is going to be my hypotenuse here, right? Okay, I'm going to put an X value there. Because that's the unknown. And since I know this one, this is the only side I know right here, this I'm going to use sine. Because that's opposite and the X. So sine of A is equal to opposite, which is 36 over x. So times x times x, x times sine of a is 36. And do we know what sine of a is? Say yes. Yes. Because they gave it to us right over there. So instead of actually giving you a decimal on this, they just gave you the fraction. So this is going to be 36 divided by sine of A, which is 12 over 13. Because sine of A, yeah, sine of A is 12 over 13. So it's 36 divided by 12 over 13. So we get 39 out of the whole thing. So like I told you guys before, some of the stuff is going to be slightly different. Because I put review from some of the stuff that you guys should have done first semester also. We didn't do that. We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. It's a holy cacahuate. That's stupid. Yeah. Don't worry. They never talk. 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 They never talk.
says complete the following ratios for the triangle. Okay, sine of A. So now let's put a mark on A. So, so from A, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is here, and hypotenuse is going to be over here. Okay, so that's going to be whatever that value is going to end up being. Because this is a right triangle, isn't it? So in a right triangle, can I find the hypotenuse of a right triangle? Can you say that again? Can I find the hypotenuse of a right triangle? Yeah, yeah. yeah we have a right right triangle, right? Yeah. So that's Pythagorean theorem. Yeah. So this is going to be 6 squared plus 8 squared equals, in this case, my c squared. Yeah. And so by doing the math, that's 36 plus 64 equals c squared. 100 equals C squared. C is 10. So sine of A is going to be 8 over 10. I'm in class. Cosine of A. Cosine. So a cosine would be adjacent. So that's 6 over 10. That same 10 I got there. And tangent of A is opposite over adjacent. That's 8. Ah. Over 6. All right, let's keep going. So, uh, given that these two triangles are similar, Cosine of A is 0.6 and JK is 4. JK is 4. What's the length of LK? So LK is right there. That one's LK. And it says cosine of A, that's going to be right here. And that one's going to be 0.6. So if these two are similar to each other, so A is going to be the same as K because they are in the same order if they're similar statements. Yes? Complete the following trig ratios for A, C, B. A, C, B. That's the whole thing. Oh, are you right? I did. I did A, C, D. Dang. Good. Wow. Good call. You get a cookie. Okay. Where were you on that one, Kakarot? <laughs> So, uh, all right. So, I'm not saying these aren't actually going to be because they're all similar triangles. Okay. So, sine of a opposite. So that means I need to find this one down here. So for this right triangle here. So that one's going to be eight squared plus uh, this one's going to be B squared 17 squared 64 plus the top one is not right yeah B squared what's 17 squared like three four three three 289 okay 289 subtract 64. That's going to give me 225. So that makes one B is 15. There you go. B is 15. The small one? Ah, okay. So, yeah. All right. So let's take a look. And I am going to. So now I have all those. So from A, 
opposite is this side over here, so that's 17. And hypotenuse is all of this right here, which is 21. Cosine of A is this one, 10 over hypotenuse, 21. Tangent of A is opposite over adjacent, which is 17 over 10. Did I get it right now? You got a different thing for sign? Uh, what'd you get for sign? Yeah, I got seventeen. Nineteen point seven. So, did you do the Pythagorean theorem on this one, like eight b squared and seventeen, or did you use seventeen on the other side? What numbers did you use for your Pythagorean theorem? Okay. I got that. Got that. I, so, hey, no worries. I make mistakes too. So, yeah. So, thank you. You get a cookie for finding it. Okay. But Kakarot does not. No cookie. You get no cookie. Does that say give me? Huh? You always say give me. Anyway. All right. So. No, no, no. no. Top is like top. You forget the five. No, no. Four. Okay. What comes after two? No, we, we, we didn't do that. What comes after number two? No, we didn't do that. Three. Three. Okay, so we're on what number? Three. Three. Thank you. All right, so like I said, A, which it gave us a ratio here for A, goes with K. So that means that it's going to be the same thing here. So it says cosine. So that's going to be cosine is adjacent, which is going to be this one right here. And my hypotenuse, which is right here. So this is my adjacent, this is my opposite, this is my hypotenuse. So if it's cosine, it would be x, okay? So cosine a is equal to x over four, so adjacent over hypotenuse, multiply by four, so 4 times cosine of A is equal to X. But do we know what cosine of A is? Yes. So I don't even have to plug that in the calculator. 4 times 0 0.6 is equal to X. So X is, is that 2.4? No, no, no. Oh, no, I kind of suck at math. So I need, I need you guys to like double check on this. Why are you teaching it? Uh, no one else <laughs> volunteered to actually do it. They're, they're like, hey, you get a class with Kakarot and, and, and Big Mac. Yeah. No one else volunteered. Okay, are we good? Hey, what, what, what comes after the three? Question four, question four. Okay, uh, Darren stated it's 45, 45, 90 triangle. Okay, that is this top one up here. And then reflect it vertically to get a congruent triangle here. Okay, length of HK is. So, that one's my first one. And length of HK is five, so H, Okay, this is five. So, anyone recall doing the 45, 45, 90? What do I know about both sides of a 45? Similar. They're what? They're the same. Similar. They, they are the same, right? Yeah, they are the same. So, KI is going to be what? Five. five. So, KJ is? Five. And now, here, here's the stickler here. What is HI going to be? 45. Wrong. No. Six. Seven. You can look at your notes. Ten. Why do you just keep talking? Ten. Seriously, this is not the price is right. Like, look, why are you looking at hers? Wow. She's muscle. 
Hey, how do you say cheater? I say it's seven. She's seven. Huh? It's not going to be 15. <laughs> How'd you get 7.1? You did Pythagorean theorem? Okay. That'll work. But anyone have an exact answer for me? If you looked in your notes, you get an exact answer. He just doesn't stop talking, does he? It's like one of those wind-up toys that, that you give to little kids to annoy their parents. Just, just keep going and going and going. Okay. How about this? Five square root of two. You've said everything else in the English language except for that. Okay. All right. Do you guys remember five square root of two? So when we're doing these triangles... In a 45, 45, 90, it's 5, 5, 5 square root of 2. Or uh, the formula we used was n, n, n times square root of 2. Yeah, you guys remember that now, kind of? Okay, so how about this? What is ji going to be? 5 square root of 2. 5 square root of 2. There you go. Ah. <sighs> says right here yeah. it says tan okay so length of hj so hj is ah mm -hmm. come on hj okay tan so this is actually incorrect this part right here I'm sorry. All right, again, how about this? I promise to not teach this class ever again. Good job. There we go. <laughs> I, I'm quitting math after this year, just for you. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so right here, it says correct the mistake. The mistake is right here for this because it is not the tangent. So using the 45, 45, 90, we were able to actually find all the sides because of that. Okay, what comes after question four? No, I mean five. All right, given that two angles of a right triangle are complementary, okay, complementary, that means the two add up to 90, right? Good. Explain how to find sine of one angle and given that the cosine of the complementary angle. So, we actually did this the other day. Remember when we said angle A plus angle yeah. B is? Angle C. 90, angle 90, right? Okay, there was another word for this and I had you guys write it in your notes. Good job, man. Co. They are co-functions of each other. That's it. That's how you do those ones, because the two together have to add up to 90, and they're co-functions. So if you know what one of them is, you're going to get the other. You want to leave that question? What? Do you want me to leave that question on there? No. Oh, okay. are, are you, are you going to be able to spell it right? No. No, I know. Okay. Huh? See. You're going to bring that question. Okay, what's after five? There we go, six, question six. All right, here's the right triangle. A and B are complementary angles. That means together they have to add up to 90. Which statement is true? C. 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 Okay, it says cosine A and sine of B are both equal to, so let's see, cosine of A, so let's start with A. Cosine is gonna be, this is adjacent. This one's hypotenuse, and this is opposite. Now I'm going to change colors because we're going to look at it from B now. This one is opposite. This one is adjacent. And this is still hypotenuse. 
So cosine of A is going to be 20 over 52. Sine of B is 20 over 52. Can I reduce those fractions? Yeah. If you put in your calculator 20 over 52, ooh, I gotta change that. Thank you, thank you. All right, so right here it gives me 5 over 13, right? Yeah. So it reduced my fraction for me. So I'm gonna change menu. Go down to settings. Angle has to be in degrees. Okay, degrees, right? Yeah. Okay, so in Espanol es gradios. See? In Spanish. Is it gradios? Uh, yeah. No? Grados. Grados. Sorry, sorry. Grados. There we go. Hey, listen, I really like this calculator, and I hope you guys, especially if you, it has a Spanish version, and you use it all the time, so you could use either or. There you go. So 5 over 13 was my answer. So this comes out to 5 over 13. So is this first one here correct? No. No, first one is not correct. Next one, cosine of A which was 20 over 52 again. And sine of B, sine of B is 20 over 52, okay? Now, 20 over 52 again, do both of them come out to five over 13? Okay, so right here, if you look, is cosine of A reduced to 12 over 13? Say no. Why are you shaking your head yes? It's no. Is it different in your country? Yes. Yes. There you go. Okay. C, cosine of A, which is my 20 over 52, sine of B are both equal to 5 over 13. Is that true? Yeah. Yes, it is. That's what we got there. So, question that comes next is seven. All right, so now this is one that you guys should have covered first semester. We didn't. You didn't? No. It's fine, that's why I'm gonna teach it right now. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so these are both complementary, right? Yeah. And so they're co-functions and co-functions add up to what? 90. 90, so all I have to do is actually take both these together and say, this plus this equals 90. So when we have these type of equations that are both together, right? They both together are going to add up to 90. How many x's do you have? Add up all your x's? Four and one. Goomba's got more than, he's got more than one x. He's got x's everywhere, okay? Tell him, tell him, so. I got hoes in different area codes. Anyway, all right, two and four gives me six. Six x, 18 and five, plus 23 equals 90. Subtract 23. 6x is, what's that? Uh, 67. I don't know, what's that like? 11.1? 0.2? Like I said, I'm not very good at math. Yeah. 
because it's wrong down. Yeah, like I said, I'm not very good at math. Are we okay so far? Okay, so especially if you forgot how to do any of this. Now, can you use this review on your test? Yeah. yeah. Yes! No. Who said no? Who said no? He said no. That means you don't get to use the review on your test. I didn't. Who said no? <laughs> All right, so what comes after seven? Yeah. Find the value of x in the triangle. So, in this case right here, I have this one's 31, right? Yeah. Okay, so this one's 31, and I know both together have to add up to? 90. No, 90. 90. Both together, these are the co-functions. So if that's 31, what's this one going to be? 39. Something 9? 59. 59, because both together have to add up to what? 90. 90, there we go. All right, so from F, Let's look, from F, this side over here would be opposite. This side is hypotenuse. Okay. And then I'm gonna do it again in a different color. So from 59, which is here, this side is now adjacent. And this is still hypotenuse. So from 59, Adjacent and hypotenuse is what ratio? What is adjacent and hypotenuse? Adjacent and hypotenuse. Cosine. Cosine. So cosine of 59 is equal to adjacent, which is 14, and hypotenuse, which is x. So do a little math. Multiply by x, so I get x equals 14 divided by cosine 5, 9. So, can we use this first one here? Yes, we can. We could probably use some other ones too. Now, let's, let's see what the red one's going to give me. So from this one, red, we have opposite and hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse is which one? Yes, it is side. Do you guys have trouble with those still? Yeah? yeah? Okay, here. I, I'm going to help you guys out. You guys are going to write this down. You guys are writing this down, right? Because yeah. everyone tries to do this, the other thing, but I think mine works better. Because some old hippie <laughs> caught another hippie tripping on acid. Some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. Okay, let's start with some old hippie. So sine, some old hippie, cosine. Caught another hippie. There's my cosine. The last one is tripping on acid. There's my tangent.
Now, this is called a mnemonic. Mnemonic is a phrase or a, a way of saying things or, or some type of way that you will remember it using a patterns, sequences, or even a saying for this one. So, some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. So, if you have it in your notes, you can just reference this every time to figure out what we're dealing with. So, going back to the problem we were working on. Uh, oh, it's right there. There we go. Okay. So, now I'm, gonna, I'm doing the red one here. Let's see. So, opposite and hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse. That one's going to be some old hippie, right? Opposite hypotenuse is an old hippie. So that's some old hippie. So that's going to be sine. Sine of 59 is equal to 14. No, I'm sorry. Uh, we're on 31, not 59. Fourteen over x. And I'm going to get, by multiplying by x, I'm going to end up with x equals fourteen divided by sine thirteen. So fourteen divided by sine. Why did I say 13? It's 31. Kakarot, where were you on that one? Yeah, it, it, it's right, it's right. No, it's not. It's E. There we go. Oh, 31. There we go. So that one is E. So can I have more than one answer? Yeah. Yes, I can. Because if you notice in the question, that says and expressions. And it says right here, there could be more than one. So my two answers are going to be A and C. What if we only get one answer? Then you get half credit. What if we get no answer? Then you get no credit. What if we just circle the whole? Uh, then you get 10 times credit. What if you trip, fall, hit your head, and forget all about math? Okay. All right. Let's keep going then. How long is the guy wire shown in the figure if it's attached to top of a 50 foot right here? 50 foot antenna makes 70 degree angle with the ground. So now, from this angle right here, this side over here is going to be considered the angle. No, I put it no, opposite. Like everything you say, you, you're like, you, you know, you try. You really try hard. I, I appreciate that. But yeah, you go through the whole list, and it's always the last thing that you come up with. So that one's the opposite. You ready? Now, redeem yourself here. Redeem yourself. This side over here is hypotenuse. There we go. See, I know you know it. Now, opposite and hypotenuse. What ratio is that? It is sine. Because that's some old hippie, right? Yes. Sine. So it's going to be sine. 70 is going to be 50 over x. Multiply by x. And then divide by sine 50. So, Seventy. 
You know, I told you, I'm not very good at math. You know, and they found the dyslexic person, and they're like, hey, let's make this guy that, you know, messes up these numbers all the time, let's make him actually teach math. Yeah, that guy. What says 80? Oh, you're giving me the answer? Fifties? Yes. I know, right? Man. So if it's this bad for you, imagine me trying to grade your papers. Yeah, some people like, I have to learn Farsi just to read his, his work. Yes. So I, I did learn, I did live in Saudi Arabia for, for six months to learn, you know, whatever you're saying. Huh? Uh, Farsi. Yeah. In Saudi Arabia. They don't speak Farsi. I, I lived there for six months. How long did you live in Saudi? Never. Exactly. Then what's your point? It's not Farsi. It is Farsi. No, no. It, it's called Farsi. No, no, no. It's not a town called Farsi. The country speaks Farsi. No, no, no. You, you go to Iran. I, why am I going to Iran? I don't want to go to Iran. No, I don't want to go there. I didn't live there. Okay. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, do we speak American here in America? Yeah. We speak American, right? Yeah. But what's it actually called? English. English, okay? So it's not the name of the country. It's not, it, it's it's just the name of the type of language. So it's called Farsi. <sighs> anyway, all right, so what did we get for our math? Now that this guy is trying to troll me, you don't even know what it is. <laughs> so, what is the length? Length is going to be 53.2. That you're today years old that you finally figured it out. It is UK. No, no, I mean. The United Emirates. That's the future of America. Afghanistan, Iraq, that's it. They speak Arabic. A little bit. What comes after that one? Ten. Okay, let's go to ten. All right, fly a kite. Angle of depression. Now, anyone recall what an angle of depression is? If you def if you feel depressed, what do you feel? Depressed. <laughs> Give me an adjective for that. Give me a synonym, something similar. Sad. Sad. You feel down, right? Yeah. That's the one I was looking for. You feel okay. down. So angle of depression goes which way? Down. Goes down. So your angle of depression is this way. Now, where do you think that elevation, angle of elevation would go? It goes up, right? Angle of elevation. So there's my depression. This one here is elevation. So we have angle of depression and angle of elevation. So angle of depression is 23 degrees. So that means this is 23 degrees. That doesn't help me because that's not where the triangle is, right? This right here 
is also a similar triangle, depression and elevation are going to be the same. So that's 23 right there. And length of the string is 50. Okay, how high off the ground? Round your answer to the nearest 10. So that means I'm looking for this value here. So if this is my angle that I'm using, this side way over here is going to be considered the, what is it? Thank you. This side, way over here, is the opposite the right angle is always hypotenuse. There you go, hypotenuse. All right, so let's look to see what we have. So we have the opposite and hypotenuse uses what? I heard it? Sine. Opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So it's sine of 23 is equal to opposite, which is x, over hypotenuse, which is 50. So we're going to multiply both sides by 50. And it's going to be 50 times sine 23 is x. And that's going to give me 19 point what? Very good, 19.5. Can someone tell me why that is not the answer? Oh, how these are supposed to be at feet. It says meters, but it's supposed to be feet. Sorry. I just noticed that, that it didn't match. The answer is not that. Can anyone tell me what what's missing? The what? tree grows from the ground. What other information is in that little paragraph of wording that I didn't use? You? Okay, soldier boy. What do I have to add because of that? Which is? Five feet. Oh, five feet. Five feet. So we're going to add five feet to it. We're going to add five feet because yes, we're about five feet high, and that's the point that we're starting from. That's the elevation that I'm going to add. There we go. Hopefully, you guys remember that tomorrow. No, Friday's the test. What's today? Today's still Wednesday. So after question 10 goes question. You said hold on? Okay. Okay. So after question 10 goes question 11. Good. Okay. Length of each side is square. Sine is 15. Okay.
It's asking for the diagonal. Okay. This is square sine, so if I do a diagonal, so they're all 15s, right? Now, let's pretend like you paid attention. What do you think each of this angle is? What do you think this angle is here? 90. No, 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 no. Say it. Yes, it is. Why do I know it's 45? That's 90, right? The whole thing is 90, so if I cut it in half, it's 45, right? Yeah. Okay, so now this one over here is? 90. 45. Very good. And 45 again, right? Yeah. All right, so let's pretend like I paid attention. Could I use Pythagorean theorem? Yes, I can, but I don't want to. I want to just give me the exact answer. What would the exact answer of this diagonal right here be? I heard it, heard it, heard it, what? 15 right 2. Good job. I would say you. 15 right 2. Because we did the triangle earlier, and it's n, n, n times square root of 2, right? Is that pretty easy now? Yeah. Hopefully. So everyone but Kakarot could use this on their test. All right, questions, concerns, complaints. It says round it to the inch. And if I'm plugging it in, 15 radical dose, 21.2. Uh,